fucking love this song. So who had a ray gun? No, fuck Todd. Not ray gun. Reagan. Ronald Reagan, 40th president of the United States. Whatever, dude. Reagan had to deal with all this same stuff in the 80s. Insurgents trying to overthrow their governments. Back then, the Afghans went crying to the Russians for help. Thanks. This pisses Reagan off so much, his boys whip up Operation Cyclone and use the CIA to arm and train the Mujahideen. One of these CIA-trained badass Lawrence of Arabia SOBs who kicks the Russians' asses out of Afghanistan ends up being Osama bin Laden. Oh, snap. No shit. True story. So the Mujis kick Russia's red ass across the sand, the entire Russian economy collapses, and goodbye USSR. Now America has no more bad guys to fight. Oh, <laughs> go America, it's your birthday. But in the meantime, Osama and his now well-armed Al-Qaeda brothers start screwing with everybody. Egypt, Algeria, hell, he's blowing up half the Middle Eastern governments trying to create a unified Muslim country. But here's the thing, the people don't want it. Why? Don't know. Maybe they like their lives how they were. So he deems them all viable targets. He started blowing up his own fucking people? Man, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's why they're called terrorists, douchebag. <laughs> so, Bush Sr. becomes President 41. Before we know it, he's balls deep in Kuwait fighting Saddam for the Saudis. This pisses Osama off so much, he starts mouthing off about Saudi Arabia. So the Saudis banish his ass. Sucks to be you. Now, the dude's living in a cave in the hills of Afghanistan, and he's like, screw this noise, and calls down a jihad on all Americans. So it's Fatwa on America and our allies. And what happens next? 9-11? Oh, shit. Give that man a gold star. Fuck you, bitch. The Marines are balls deep in Iraq, Afghanistan, and now this butthole. The war on terror's got a plug to pull on the septic tank of insurgents, this place is the drain stopper. I heard that. Every evil bastard that got banished, kicked out, had nowhere else to go, they came here. Anyway, it's the ETIM you really need to be worried about. The ETIMs carried out the suicide bombings along the Xinjiang border in China's backyard. And they don't like anyone pissing in their cornflakes. So China caught some of their leaders and executed them publicly via firing squad. The TIM swears retaliation. And so they killed those Chinese athletes last year at the Olympics. So what do you think, Sergeant Kirby? You've seen the most action out of all of us. Back at Pendleton in what, two weeks? The insurgents are well trained and they've been fighting the PLA for a lot of years. So this is not going to be easy. There's no roots into the countryside to dig these cowards out of there other than the ones we're going to be blazing. I will say this. We're going to see some motivating, grade A, hardcore action. Every Marine to give his left nut for. Devil! Hoorah! Oh my god. What the hell is this pile of bagtastic shit that just dropped onto my deck? Don't tell me, let me guess. You tulips are my replacement fire team? Yes, Staff Sergeant! Out, fucking stack. Grab your deuce and fall in on me, double time! Listen up, because I only say shit once. And if you miss it, there ain't no motherfucking cliff notes. Now, while y'all been skinning your peckers down in Bagram, the rest of us hard charges have been deployed here in the northernmost region of Afghanistan. We've been waiting for the jawbreakers in Washington to take the leashes off so we can step off into Tajikistan. Now they say every Marine's a rifleman first, but you bitches don't look like you can hit a fucking aircraft carrier with a bazooka. Squad, because I run the tightest squad in the battalion. 
So either you start whistling the Marine Corps him out of your fucking brown eyes right now, or get the fuck out. Shit. Y'all should consider yourselves honored to be here serving with me. I must have found a golden ticket in an MRE or some shit. I have to put up with. Come out here babysitting your dumb asses while the invasion kicks off without us. Team, saddle up. Team, jump in. Roger, no problem. Get the fuck in the Humvees now. Team, get into a defensive posture. Possible contact 200 meters east. This is Alpha Team. They're trying to flank us. Alpha. Take Charlie and set up a defensive line near those ruins on the right. Bravo, same thing for you on the left. The title Marine today, boo. If bullets are whizzing past my fucking head, we got a problem. They're getting too close, Bravo. Concentrate on your defensive sectors. Bravo, cover the west and don't worry about any other directions. Just cover your sector. Contact! Firing! Team, mount it up, Marines. Chill, on it. Good to go in the back. See what the fuck I'm talking about, Bravo? IED will fuck your world up faster than tequila shots with a tranny and TJ. IEDs, snipers, insurgents, sand fleas. You want to get the fuck out of here alive? You operate on Knox's 10 rules of law around here. For you, these rules have been handed down by the Almighty himself. And anyone who fucks up one of those rules is going to meet him personally, I guarantee you. But. You are not allowed to die unless you were ordered to do so by me. Do I make myself clear? Rule number one, don't get shot. Stay in cover. Avoid open spaces and avoid getting isolated. Even though these Taji motherfuckers can't shoot for shit, a bullet ricochet still kills. Rule number five, patch your wounds. It ain't rocket science. If you take a hit, you bleed. Bleed for too long, you pass out and someone else will be put in harm's way trying to patch your Swiss cheese ass up. Find cover, patch your wounds, then heal yourself properly when you got the time. You want to be a part of this squad? To the letter. Rule number nine, issue orders. Team leaders, utilize your fire teams. If you stop telling your fire team what to do, they stop being effective, like most of your dicks. So what did the fucking new guys learn today? You do what I tell you when I tell you to do it, and you might just go home in a seat on the plane and not in the fucking cargo hold. You managed not to get yourselves killed today. Ooh, fucking rock. <laughs>